AI does substantially better if you give it broad context, but discrete tasks. And so what I will do if I have a reasonably sized user story, say, I don't know, a really simple one is like implement a password reset functionality. So password reset is like a couple of screens. There's like a screen to like put in your email address, a screen that confirms that it sent something. There's an email that needs to go out. There's something that you come back to when you click your email to like put in your new password and then a confirmation there. And then there's some other, you know, there's back end and front end all around all that. And so you can use AI in like the, the decompose step to say, okay, what are all the features like discrete tasks that a system would need to do to do password reset? And it can create each one of those as an independent artifact or a story. And then you say, cool, I'm going to take that first one. Now let's write some tests to say, I can click the password reset link I can go to a new screen and I can enter my email, right? So that's a full feature. I don't even click like reset password yet. I just enter an email on a, so it's an input on another screen. AI mm -hmm. then goes and does that. You have, you have your integration tests that are UI. You have some unit tests that make sure some stuff is happening on your front end. And then you like say, cool, next feature. I want to be able to click reset password. And as soon as I click reset, pa you know, click reset password and I fire off an email. So then I write those tests. I have AI help me generate those tests. Then I have AI help me generate the code that passes those tests. Then I pick the next 